the men's championship final rugby world cup of sevens 2022 in cape town here's how the starting lineups look sam dixon takes the field for new zealand moses leo who scored a brilliant try in the quarterfinal to get them through to the last four. And Narohi Mugabe Black with a hat-trick in the semi. But Fiji, so many weapons. Double Olympic gold medalist Jerry Tuwai. Rasuku Sauturanga and Waisea Nathungu, the captain. So dangerous, this Fiji inside. And, of course, plenty of firepower on the bench for both teams as well. just like to take a moment to pay tribute to our dear friend and colleague Willie Lawson who left us this week we miss you Willie we love you and this one's for you and here they come out onto Cape Town Stadium. Waisea Nathungu leads out Fiji. Sam Dixon, who missed the 2018 event in San Francisco four years ago, and the Olympic Games in Tokyo with injury. What a moment for him, the new captain of this All Black 7 side, to lead his nation out here. Moments away from a World Cup of Sevens Championship final. He holds the towel up in his left hand be the New Zealand national anthem first God defend New Zealand and that will be followed by God bless Fiji 101 finals all time between these two sides
The emotion, the focus, the men's championship final 2022 Rugby World Cup of Sevens. Rupert Cox with you alongside a former World Cup winner, former New Zealand Sevens captain Carl Tanana. Carl, you've been there. What's this moment like? Oh, it's absolutely amazing, Rupert. These two teams' emotions are going through. You can see Fiji just going through their routine. You talk about big tournaments, you talk about Rugby World Cup Sevens. This is the ultimate. The All Black Sevens versus Fiji. It doesn't get a bigger stage. And as for Fiji, well, I think it's going to be based on defence. Ben Golland has been focusing a lot on that. Team defence really adds to them for New Zealand. I think it's their defences also, but it's 1v1. They can't miss their one on one tackles. And you know what? Fiji, New Zealand, how good. How good. They met in Los Angeles in August. Gianluca Nyaki, your referee from Italy. Big occasion for him too. New Zealand won the Los Angeles final. They snapped an eight cup final losing streak against Fiji in that match. How important might that muscle memory be for the All Black Sevens? They will get us started. They will left to run left to right, of course, all in black. <laughs> Aquila Rocco Lesoa gets the 2022 Sevens Rugby World Cup men's final underway. Fiji have possession. So dangerous with the ball in hand. And here's one of their stars of the tournament, Yusefo Masi. And an opportunity for Talafolo down the near side. They're on the chase, New Zealand. But Yosefa Talafolo inside 30 seconds scores first in the World Cup final. Well, I just spoke about the defence. New Zealand can't afford to miss one on ones, and they did. There was a slip on the midfield. He just gets it straight away and he backs himself. He saw this space in front of him. Talatholo gets Fiji off to the perfect start. You talk about confidence and muscle memory. Fiji, well, they have muscle memory in big finals. A volleyballer in his youth. Yoseba Talatholo, he has spiked that one for Fiji. Nafungu adds the extra two, they get the maximum. What a start from the double Olympic gold medalists. There you go, Fiji score a try every 0.8. Rucks, New Zealand every 1.9. I mean, that's a pretty good stat for both teams, but Fiji just edge it. Nafungu goes long off the restart. No one back deep for New Zealand, so Sioni Molia has to track back. Now has his teammates behind him. The tackle comes in from Yosefo Masi, the former hey, North here, Queensland Cowboy in rugby league. Shifted across by Tony Nashu to Scott Curry, captain of New Zealand, mind. when they won it in San Francisco four years ago. But here are Fiji looking for their second try. But Asoku in the corner. They forced the error to Fiji. And Kaminieli Rasaku has their second. On the back of some great defence, I love the option from Ben Bing on his New Zealand tactic. Kick it long. This will be interesting. Did he tip him? Oh, that pass, that's dangerous. I mean, technically, that's a card. Oh, that's a big miss. But you know what Fiji play on? They get the turnover in the corner. And they go back to back. But geez, Louise. Well, that's the kind of form that prompted Bayon, the French top 14 club, to sign this guy. He's heading to the Basque country in France after this tournament. And Nathungu, just ricochets off the right hand upright, remains 12-0. Whilst BG, I'll go long again. To put a player back in Broccoli Saw of the All Black Sevens. Long again with the restart from Nathungu. It's worked for them so far. Moses Leo scored a cracker in the quarterfinal to get New Zealand through to the last four. Scott Curry now. Tony Nashu down the outside, but he's matched for pace by Nathungu. But into Fijian territory for the first time. Come New Zealand. Here's Moses Leo. Holds the ball in two hands. Nasi puts him down on the ground eventually. Rocco Lissol. Molia. Molia cut out ball over the top to Nashu. Little hitch kick. He's got Scott Curry with him. He burst through one tackle. He's five meters out.
big carry that for New Zealand. Mugabe Black, Dixon, Leo in the corner. Nicely done, New Zealand. Their first try of the World Cup final. Yeah, well work, wasn't it? From New Zealand, that's the way they do it in attack. They really build tries. They were great at ruck time, got good, quick, clean ball, but Tony Ngashi integral to this, this breaking tackle, setting play up, drawing in defenders from there. See how quick that pill is. And from there, it's just draw and pass. This last one from Sammy Dixon was the money ball. What an addition he's been. Moses Leo from the North Harbour Province on the North Shore of Auckland to this New Zealand. Seven set up, Agave Black from way out wide, just strips past. 12-5, the scoreline. See that try position there, KT. 13 passes, really good keep ball from New Zealand for that score. Yeah, and because they don't have really out and out pace men, they have to manufacture tries, and that's why they do dominate passes. But Okola saw it. Goes mid-distance with the restart. Jerry Tuwai takes it and gets it away. Nathungu, the captain. Masi. He's so dangerous. Brilliant he was in the semi-final. Talatholo's looming. Here he is. Those big long levers. Nothing. He's got support with him, but he goes way over the top. And Fiji in a bit of space here. High shot coming in on Orasaku. We play on. Now it's Tanakai Bata. Just bursting clear for Fiji. The power man gets it done for the flying Fijians. That's number three. Well, they look confident, don't they? And they have right from the get-go. This Fijian outfit, they're running with venom. That's the secret. Ball in two hands, takes the hole. And there's no way he was going to be stopped from there. Look at him looking around. No one in picture shot. He lost his elder brother and his dad in a tragic accident about a year and a half ago did Elia Thanakaivata he wanted to give up the game and his mum said no stick with it and now he scored in the World Cup final yeah, I'm sure dad's looking down on him smiling from ear to ear as well what a moment it won't be lost on him but he knows he's got to reset right from this kickoff and get into some defensive work 19-5 over 30 seconds to go in this first half. New Zealand found a response. It's Fiji's second try. Slightly shorter restart this time from the Thungu. Well taken by Mugabe Black for New Zealand. Leo plays scrum half. Dixon, that first receiver. Rokolasoa to his left. It's gone forward out of the hands of the New Zealand captain. And here come Fiji again. They are so dangerous in transition. One dummy and they're in again. Felipe Saturana salutes the fans here in Cape Town. Oh, there's a bit of distance already now in this one. We're just going next level on it, aren't they, Fiji? Look at that insane dummy from Saturana and the ferocious finish. Oh, how good. They are rolling at the moment, Rupert. Came from the forced error in contact as well. Dixon. With the fumble, Salturanga with the finish. Conversion doesn't get there, but Fiji, what a first half from them. Four tries to one. They lead New Zealand in the World Cup final by 24 points to five. to this Fiji side, Ben Gollings with some pats on the back. He looks pretty composed and why not four tries to the good car? Well, I think he's come with a distinct game plan, Rupert, to kick long, force New Zealand out, come up as a team, and really make New Zealand run it out from deep, and it's worked for them. They're ripping the ball in contact, something they've obviously identified, and it's really working. New Zealand head coach. I like what Clark 
record saying there though, he's saying don't chase the game, no 50-50s, just chip away, work through, there's still a long time to go on this game. 19 points is nothing in the game, so it's, as you know Ruben, but they had to make their tackles and they can ill afford VG to score first. Yeah, we've seen it happen many times. Oh, if I'm not though, it's VG to come back from that sort of deficit, a mountain to climb for New Zealand. They are a champion side. PG leading New Zealand, 24-5 at halftime of the 2022 Sevens Rugby World Cup final here in Cape Town. Sione Molia and Amanaki Nicole await the restart from Fiji. Four tries to the good, Talatholo, Kanakaibata, Satoranga Aurasaku, the one score, Moses Leo for New Zealand. Nathanbu changes direction, goes the far side as he overcooks this, he has a break for New Zealand straight off the bat in the second half. A massive break for New Zealand to be able to take this quick tap. Now where they have dominated teams on the first couple of days, New Zealand, is at the ruck and they haven't had that opportunity because of those turnovers. I'm a knock in the call. I think it's come on for the exact reason to be a physical presence. Rocco Lissoa to Molia. Dixon across to Leo, puts the foot on the gas. Still going, Moses Leo, just four metres out. They need a quick reload here. Molia's there. Short ball. And they're over the line, New Zealand. They yeah. have the score. Yeah, it's guys. Aquila Rocco Lissoa. They're going to check it. He looks pretty confident. What is he checking here? There was a high a shot. Was he checking the put yeah. down? Want to check the try? Yes. Then we got a high tackle as well. Yes, yeah, the high tackle, which might be the issue, Rupert. I don't think try yes or not, please. the put down's any trouble. Stand by, Joe Luca. Oh. Yeah. Down the shoulder. Well, you prefer a penalty try here, wouldn't you? That's automatic what I'm saying. Seven. Automatic seven points, yes. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with a put down. It's just the high tackle and potentially a yellow card. It's a double blow for Fiji to start this game. New Zealand actually walking back like it is. Yeah, Luca, I have a decision. Yes. Uh, there's a high tackle by Fiji too. Yes. But the try is scored. Yes, and the high tackle uh, it becomes on the shoulder and then it goes up. So in my opinion, I don't see any force. So in my opinion, it's just a PK. So I stay with the try. Agree? Uh, the try is scored. Yeah. But it's a yellow card high tackle number two correct correct number two high Josef tackle Talatholo will head to the sin bin Rocco Lissoa has the try for New Zealand no it's indirect near before and then he goes up it's a tough situation no, got a player coming in low he's trying no, to go for the scored. ball initial contact was okay the play has been scored but unfortunately just slips up and this is the moment Version from wide out and it gets there. Maroki Garvey Black with the extra two for New Zealand. Straight away, just from that restart from Fiji, the mistake. New Zealand scores straight away. Oh no, Nathungu, this is even worse for Fiji. The superstar. Back underway. The whole complexion of this game seems to have changed here. 24 12. Back by White. Eternity to go in this World Cup final. A yellow card for Fiji and Nathungu out of Tackle action. Tackle now, Libra. Away, Black. Rasaku just picks it up for Fiji and he's off to the races, but he spills the beans. Oh no, Rasaku, he is so dangerous. Just getting out of tackles and he is away for all money if he doesn't drop this ball. Look at him, super strong. No one in front of him, he scores there nine times out of ten. That is unfortunate. Fiji just, they just need to settle down and reset here at the moment. The other ones look like they're chasing the game, just rushing it just a little bit. Scored an amazing try in the semi-final against Ireland. Australia, rather, in that 38-14 win for Fiji. Set. New Zealand will feed the scrum. Still seven on six, the power play. Rocco Lissoa, Mugabe Black, Whipple, Molia. Caleb Tangatau has come off the bench for New Zealand. Can he be the difference maker here? 12 points the difference, 4.20 to go. For Captain Dixon. 
Tony Nashu. Almanaki Nicole is bundled Advantage. into the Cape Town Stadium floor. Penalty, oh, New Zealand. Cynical Double people. whistle. Oh, there's another car for Fiji. They're going to be down to five here. Oh, cynical man. Place. Cynical. This is the call. I thought Almanaki Nicole must have been close to being out. Sevaloni Mothanathang, he's only just come on. He's going to sit down for two minutes. They're going to get their other player back, though. That's lucky for them. Talaratholo. Well, timing is everything. Seven on six. What better than seven on five? A hush around this stadium to await what New Zealand have got here. They've got the player advantage. Tangata with the dummy. He's the fresh legs. He's the energy. Mugabe Black. Oroko Leso, a ball in two hands, skips away from the defender. Passes the ball into a Fijian, but it might work out for New Zealand. No, it's gone forward. And Fiji have possession. Kanakai Bata is away. Look at him go already. He's trying the match, an audacious offload over the top. They slip on this surface, keep the ball alive, though. Advantage, Fiji got a player on the floor. They're effectively playing with five here. But Asaku decides to kick. Another double whistle, time off on the clock. What next? Oh, Fiji just so time dangerous off. regardless how many men they got on the field. Now they're going to come to the sideline and have a talk with the assistant referee. Something's going on. We're spending an advantage for a high tackle. We've got number, number four changing the line. This is a cynical act. Yeah, to me, to, to me the, the number four prevent the, this guy to follow yeah. the ball. Yeah, and a yellow card as well, I guess, number four. Number four, please. Aquila Rokoliso is in trouble. Obstruction. <laughs> Obstruction is the call. He sits down for two minutes. A third Wait, yellow card in this Rugby World Cup of Sevens final. Oh, I don't know what to think about that. Wait, please, for my comment. From both teams, I'll be honest. Not just for New Zealand, but the card before that from Fiji, I thought was very tough. So about a minute 12 Stand left on Mothanathangis. The full two on Rokoliso. We're playing a game of sixes here in Cape Town. Jerry Tuai gets us back underway. The chant of Fiji rings around this stadium. The locals making their feelings known, and here they come, the flying Fijians. They've only ever won a World Cup in Hong Kong, two of them there, their beloved Hong Kong. They're just under three minutes from a title in Cape Town. They play keep ball. New Zealand making their tackles. But an opportunity now. Vakarun Ambili has come on the field. He cuts inside Jerry Tuai. Vakarun Ambili, six foot five, Olympic gold medalist. Rolling. Lays it back. New Zealand done for not rolling, rolling away. Number seven. Wouldn't it be just like Jerry Tuai to come up with a piece of brilliance here for Fiji? Here they come again, just slipping Play on this. On. Damp surface here, Tony Nashu's all over it for New Zealand. Knock on. He's won it yeah. back, but again, it's touched. It's touched by Black. fortune it's favors on, Fiji. The ball just no. goes forward. How important might that moment be? Oh, massive. Yeah. Fiji Time must off. be close to getting back to the oh, advantage. Touch just there. there yeah, there's been a lot of big calls in this Defense final. Scott Curry and Lewis Are Ormond clear, on the sideline. Okay, guys. Tony Nashu thought he had the ball. Fiji Sam Dixon's here. heading to the bench, as is. The first knock on we got is Nashu, off of the thing, he's back black. out there. So it's seven on six black. now for Fiji. Crucially, they got the feet of the scrum as no, well. No, he's changed his mind, Rupert. He said the first knock on was from Fiji. Black ball, Jeremy, yeah? And now we're trying to yeah. sort this out. So it's come first from the assistant referee during Rosier. The second one is black. So he's saying the second one was from Black now. Okay, so the, uh, the protestations of Scott Curry and Tony Nashu working. There is Curry. Crouch! In the middle of this scrum. Lewis Allman back in Black Blind. for New Zealand Sevens. Set. Mugabe Black to feed it. They're playing with six, though. They're down by 12. We're inside the final two minutes of the World Cup final. It's going to take something extraordinary from New Zealand from here. Molia. Scott Curry, who lifted the trophy in San Francisco four years ago. Ormond offloads to Nicole. He's the power man on the wide fringes for New Zealand. Mugabe Black hat-trick in the semi-final. Tangatau gets away from one. 
Runs out a bit of the real estate and he needs to check back in field. They flick it back in. Just hold possession, New Zealand. Brilliantly done to keep that ball alive. Lewis Orman now. What a story would, would it be if he could come up with a try here. Molia gets away from Motha Nathangi. Leaves it behind for Mugabe Black. They're heading in the wrong direction here, New Zealand. Approaching the final minute now. This Fijian defence is holding firm. Two scores behind. They need to score a try. Before seconds are out. Lewis Orman's on the floor. He's injured. They're playing with limited numbers here, the All Black Sevens. Scott Curry, he's all alone out there under his own post. They're all playing on this side of the field. There's only five of them out there. Tangatau under his own post, he offloads the ball to Mugabe Black and it's gone forward and the Fijians on the bench have already started celebrating. Oh, outstanding defence from New Zealand, they were man down, Lewis Orman went down uncomfortably. But this has been the secret I think for mine, Rupert, is the team defence from this Fijian outfit. Oh, man. Well, that was a line ball, too. Yeah. Got 25 to go here. Time's off on the clock, and Lewis Orman, unfortunately for him, having returned to this New Zealand 7 setup recently, he's going to have to head to the sideline. And Thamakai Vata has got his hands in the oh, air. Sorry, pass Because Fiji back. now have World Cup yeah, destiny sorry. in their own hands. Would you take a look at that? That's rugby sevens for you right there. Okay, the try scorer has to tell me. Heartbreak for Lewis Orman. No, the try scorer has to tell me. What do you think about this Fijian outfit, Rupert? They missed out on the Commonwealth Games medaling there. They missed out on winning the World Seven Series. But they have come here with a plan and executed. They've had their ups and downs during this tournament. But you can't help but think about Jerry Tuai, Ben Gines, and what they've gone through to win this Rugby World Cup. The only one he's never won. Set. Jerry too white, but they are seconds away here, Fiji. New Zealand put the power on the scrum, but here they come, looking to finish in style, and they do. Filippo Bucayano seals the deal for Fiji. The Olympic champions are world champions. Their third Melrose Cup. The seven Supremos have done it again. Great work from the scrum. Great game plan that they've come with. And they've executed it under pressure right from the opening seconds in this match. And they were never going to be denied in this Rugby World Cup final. That's what it means to them. If you're watching on in Fiji, it's about quarter past seven there in the morning. Congratulations, your team have a third Sevens Rugby World Cup. They have beaten New Zealand by 29 points to 12. Well, what a performance, Carl. Rugby World Cup Sevens champions 2022, built on a quite brilliant first half. Yeah, and I think too, built on the back of some outstanding defence from Ben Gollins. He's been preaching it ever since he got the job as coach. Yes, we know about the attacking flair that they possess. They always have that, Fiji. But it was their defence that really comes.